what I've posted previously. Okay, and I can then go and key some more in if, if need be, if I wanted to. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is do some importing into the customer ledger or the customer module. Okay, so again, like we did for prospect, I'm going to have to go into system manager to do any of my importing and into the import wizard. And the first thing we're going to do is select the customer. And the first thing we're going to do is a customer's import. So we're going to actually browse for the files. And we've got customer opening balances import, customer's import uh, with opening balances, or customer's import on their own. So these two files here are the first two we're going to bring in. Now, customer's import on its own is just a list of customers' names, customers with names and addresses, etc and customers customers import with opening balances is basically the same list of names and addresses but we're going to have a single uh, figure on there for an opening balance amount against that customer so not split up with different invoices or anything like that like we've just keyed in it's just one lump sum figure for that customer and the last one we're going to bring in is our customer opening balances import which will basically just be opening balances on their own for customers that we've already got in the database. Okay, so the first thing, first one I want to do is customers import. Okay, so I select the file. If I just browse and select the file, it automatically ticks that as thinking that I want to import. Okay, and I'm going to start importing. Successfully imported, click button for details. Again, if there's any errors, clicking the button would show the errors. And if we do get any errors, it won't import anything any error at all it won't it will not import full stop and if we get if it's reading the file and it gets to five errors it will basically quit after the five errors it won't read through the whole file because that could take quite a lot of time and uh, if chance out there's five errors you'll be able to work out from them five that that error will also occur on a lot of the other rows so that's that's why we do that okay so that was successful which is good so I'm going to try and import the second file now, which is just my customers, but with some opening balance uh, details in there as well. So again, I'm using the customers one, the second one, not, not the opening balance one for this one. Okay, and we'll bring them in. Hopefully they'll all come in as well. Successfully imported, which is good. And now if I just go back to customer and to find customer, you'll see I've got a lot more customers in there than I had a few minutes ago. Okay, and you'll see for some of them they've got balances. And this is because of that second file I brought in had an opening balance figure on it. Okay, the last file that we're going to bring in, I'm just going to have to go and have a look at the last file to show you. just open that up so that we can see what we've got in here now this last file is just basically going to be opening balances on their own and we're going to import these opening balances for customers that are already within the database so what we're going to do is two of these transactions are going to be for our French customer and two are going to be for our US customer and then both them customers are ones that I manually created just earlier on Okay, so what I need to do in here to be able to get this to import is amend the customer codes to be actual valid customer codes in the database. So what I'm going to do now is leave that open and go back into my database. And when I'm in the Find Customer screen, if I have a look for my French customer, I can see that the customer code is cust-4015. So that's the customer code I need for that one. So for the first two records, I'm going to make that let them be for my French customer. Okay, and the second two I want for my US customer. So if I go back in here, I've got a US customer ink, which is number 14. So I'm basically going to going to do a similar thing on there. We're going to have 14 in there.
Okay, so now that I've got filled them in, then it should be happy to import that file. So I'm just going to save my file and quit it. Always important to quit the file after you've saved it, just in case it might lock the file sometimes otherwise. And I'm going to go back into my import wizard and hopefully try and import that file. So if I go to customer and then customer opening balances this time because there's no customer details in there, but it's purely transactions and a browse for my file and customer opening balances import. Start importing and it was successful which is good. So if I now go and have a look at my French or US customer then I will now see that I've got balances against them whereas I wouldn't have done before. So that concludes our customer setup module. The next video will cover supplier setup.